As promised, I'm gonna show you how to create pro level dynamic elevation markers, get rid of the annotation dots and create something more presentable with the annotation text settings component. The component itself is massive with 11 pass-through parameters. It can be used to set text settings or get data from them. You can edit the font, text height and text gap, add mask frames of different styles and change the mask colors and margins. You can toggle whether the annotation is view oriented or not. You can adjust the horizontal and vertical alignment and select settings for fitting the text. Let's get to today's example. In Rhino, I have a layer called elevations here. I'm using query model objects component to get the points from the elevations layer. To create a text entity, we need a plane and the text. I'm getting the points that we gathered from the elevations layer and constructing planes in a correct orientation to match my drawing on the right. I'm then using the same points to get their Z components, rounding them to the nearest value, formatting them with concatenate to add a plus sign in the front. Then I'm using a Python script to add the dots in the correct position in the number and inputting this text to the text entity. I'm putting the AI generated script on the screen now for you to look at. I know I could have added a plus sign in the script or after the script or anything, but this is just an example for you. There are a million ways of doing this. I'm just trying to show you how easy it is to create small scripts to help you achieve the results that you want and improve your workflows. So we want our annotations to look nice. We're gonna create some text settings to pass to the text entity component. I'm again using the model font to get my preferred font from my computer's font library. I am creating underline and selecting the font weight and style that I want to use. I am then connecting the font to the annotation text settings component and adjusting the font height, the mask frame, mask margins, view orientation and the alignment of the text. Now as I go ahead and start adding points to the model, I am getting my fancy elevations. Now they seem a bit small, so I'm just gonna increase the font size. Now the underline doesn't really line up with the point, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Actually in this example, changing the view orientation doesn't matter at all, because I'm using the plain input in the text entity to define the direction of my text. This way I can quickly and easily edit all the annotations that I have created. It is now up to you to go and play with the sliders to see how your annotations will change.